Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to do a dog food review. Are we boring you, Bella? Requested by Victoria for Origins Beef Kibble. So the first thing I'm gonna say, you know, any kibble that you get, I don't care who it's made by, is gonna to have to be high in carbs because carbs act like a glue to put everything together in those little round hard kibbles when it goes through the process of taking out all the moisture. So any kibble that you get is gonna be high in carbs. And why is that bad? It's bad because carbs, if you eat a lot of carbs, you're gonna gain weight. And there's a lot of dogs that are obese right now. And there's a lot of dogs that have diabetes. So that's why you'll see in all of my cooking videos that I do, all of my food, we're really boring Miss Bella today. All of my food is low carbs, low starchy vegetables. The only starch that I put into my dog's food is either pumpkin, sweet potato, or butternut squash, and only one of those. And I'm really into butternut squash these days. But let's get going and do this review. So this is the dog food review I did, Regional Red. It's the only one I really saw that had beef in it. And now let's look at the ingredients. All right, so it looks pretty impressive. It has beef, wild boar, goat, and lamb. And then it has the organ meat with it. So it has four proteins. Now, first of all, you know that I only do one protein per uh, recipe because I like for my dog to have a variety of proteins. So if you're buying this dog food and it's quite expensive, you're gonna be giving this to your dog each and every day. And that's not cool. A dog needs a variety each and every day, just like you do. But the thing that really stuck out and is just appalling to me, there's four proteins, but there's seven legumes. Let's look at them. There's whole red lentils, there's whole pinto beans, there's whole green peas, whole green lentils, whole navy beans, whole chickpeas, and whole yellow peas for a total of seven legumes. Okay, what's wrong with legumes? Well, let's first talk about kibble. Kibble, again, I told you it needs to have carbohydrates to stick all that little kibbles together. Now the carbohydrates will either be through grains, as in rice and barley, or it will, and corn, or it will be through legumes. Now, a couple years ago, people wanted their dogs to be on a grain-free diet because, let's face it, grains are not needed and not necessary for dogs. So, kibble manufacturers started doing kibble with legumes because they had to do one or the other to stick all these little round pellets together. And what was happening, dogs were getting heart issues and dying of DCM. And the FDA came out, if you want to believe the FDA or not, okay, that legumes were the cause of DCM. If a dog eats too many legumes, it doesn't allow the dog to produce or absorb taurine, which is an essential amino fatty acid. And I'm very surprised that uh, this brand does not even have taurine in one of the ingredients to combat with all these legumes. So it has four proteins. It seems, wow, this is really cool but it has seven legumes. And this is a, a, 
a marketing strategy. It's called ingredient splitting. You know, you read the ingredients and you see that the beef is up front. So you know that in dog food and in human food, you have to list from the first ingredient being the most in the recipe to the last ingredient being the least amount. So you see that the beef and the wild boar and the goat and the lamb are the first four ingredients. Okay, so you think, wow, it has to have a lot of that in there. But they split up the legumes into all these different legumes. And I bet you that all of these legumes, if you had them all together, would be actually the first ingredient. So I really don't think that this um, kibble has that much animal protein in it. Um, and let's face it, when you have the, the meat go through this process and take all the moisture out and all the nutrients out, you're really not getting that protein. That's another reason why they're adding all these legumes to make the protein percentage go up. Um, also in it, I, I didn't go back to the picture, but it has pumpkin and butternut squash and carrots. Now, not only are legumes bad for dogs, but they're very high in carbohydrates. And even though I use uh, butternut squash in my dog food, I would never combine it with pumpkin and with carrots. I would just use one. And butternut squash is the superior one of the three. So combining that with the legumes, this is a very high starchy dog food, okay? Um, you know, it, it's just nothing that I would wanna feed my dog. And I know it's very frustrating for people out there because they want an inexpensive, convenient way of feeding your dog. And I used to be there. I used to get the kibble also. You just dump it in the bowl and walk away. Um, I would not recommend this product, and I am in no way getting any uh, throwbacks from any companies. But if you can't home cook, and I know a lot of you can, it, it does take a big commitment. I would strongly recommend Dr. Harvey's uh, dehydrated food. They have quite a few formulas out there, those that have the protein in it and those where you only add, you add your protein. I would recommend you get the one where you add your protein, Paradigm, or Raw Vibrance from Dr. Harvey's is what I would recommend. Look, you can buy kibble or you can buy cheap kibble and you're gonna be going to the vet, but if you put a little bit more money into your dog food, you're gonna be going to your vet a lot less often. Bella's, she's over 12 years old and we only go for well checkups because I give her human grade food, homemade food that has lots and lots, lots of moisture. If there's anything you get from this video, kibble has zero moisture in it. And moisture is so needed for a dog and for a human, I should drink more water, to flush out their kidneys to flush out their bladder so they don't get UTIs, they don't get any kind of bladder stones, etc. So please keep that in mind. And Dr. Harvey's is high in moisture because you add moisture to it. I, I can't recommend any kibble. I'm, I'm really sorry. I know it's frustrating.